This video is part of the series promoting the sustainable use of medical oxygen. Today we explain specifications for the procurement of oxygen cylinders. Properly specified cylinders make gas available more quickly where and when it is needed. When specifications are incomplete, the work of the procurement team increases enormously, delaying the availability of oxygen. That is the reason for this video. Oxygen cylinders available on the market are made either of steel or aluminum. Aluminum cylinders are lighter and are generally useful when transporting patients inside or outside of the hospital. The choice of material is important information that should be included in your purchase order. Another important piece of information is the internal volume of the cylinder, which is equivalent to the volume of water that it can contain. This amount is usually expressed in liters and is written on the body of the cylinder. This number is useful, combined with the internal pressure, you can use it to calculate the amount of oxygen that can be stored in the cylinder. The working pressure is also important because, it allows the manufacturer to correctly determine the mechanical strength that the cylinder requires, and to calculate the amount of gas it can store. Cylinders commonly withstand pressures of up to 200 atmospheres. If the cylinder has 50 liters of internal volume, multiplying 200 atmospheres by 50 liters tells us that we will have 10,000 liters of oxygen at atmospheric pressure inside the cylinder. There are several types of valves, CGA 540 and CGA 870 are the most common in our region. Because this valve determines the types of accessories that a healthcare facility requires, it is reasonable to standardize this item. Doing so makes it possible to avoid duplication of connections and devices within an organization, and facilitates monitoring. This information must appear on your purchase order. In summary, Cylinder specifications must include, type of material, internal volume in liters, and working pressure in atmospheres. If your country uses other units of measurement, this should be noted. Other important information involves manufacturing standards and quality assurance. These topics will be covered in the next video of the series. If you have questions, you can contact the PEHO Technical Group on oxygen at gto2 at peho.org. Thank you for watching this video through to the end.